and welcome to Unfiltered TV. Today I'm your host KD and today we're gonna talk about more about international break and the good and the bad of the international break. International break has been never a good thing for Premier League or any team, you know, and in general and uh, the thing team continues. Players coming back tired, players, you know, and it was just for international friendly, you know, there was nothing special about it just for them to have more games you know to play for a season and you know like it was really really unnecessary in my opinion um i know some teams were playing for euros qualification which is okay but you know i think you know other where instead of giving friendlies you know if they don't have important thing to do their players should be rested where so many teams lost you know players on injury uh, I know some are faking, some are real, you know, as normal no team have, you know, some other teams plan with their players on what to do, you know, Harry Kane was injured, you know, uh, but today he came out that he was, or yesterday he came out that he's, he's ready to play and he's no longer injured, you know, other players will come back to training and he's not the only player, you know. Uh, and the, on the other side, the Premier League teams, that, uh, especially the three teams that are fighting, you know, um, Man City have lost two defenders. Walker and Stones, with Stones, which is Stones, is a crucial player for them. Um, a really, really crucial player this season for them. Whether he's playing CDM or whether he's playing centre back, uh, he's that you know, he became that crucial for the team. And they lost. And on the other side, Walker is you know one of those players that are always there, an important player for the team. And they lost. And on the other side, Arsenal lost Bakayo Saka, if I'm not wrong, uh, on injury. But he didn't play anything. He got injured before, you know, there. And these two teams are playing one another this weekend. And you see, like, it has a massive impact on the Premier League. Uh, on the other side, Liverpool um, have lost, uh, most probably, um, Andy Robertson for a quite good period. And uh, Timika has played 120 minutes and 90 minutes. So, technically, he played 200 minutes. Uh, 210 minutes in the international over the international break with no rest um so they will be tired be tired um so with the sad news aside you know let's talk about the good news about liverpool you know liverpool players have really most of them shine uh dominic, dominic service scored two goals if i'm not wrong um and he played well but still you know he's not to the standard that we are he showed us when the season was starting whether it's fit fatigue or whether he's still, you know, building his match sharpness, uh, he hasn't come back to the level he was. Uh, on the other side, uh, Diaz and uh, and Maka really played well. Diaz continued his impressive period, uh, period and his, you know, good uh, output as he assisted uh, against Spain, uh, where they won one nil, if I'm not wrong. Uh, and he really played well, you know, in that game. Uh, I didn't watch the other game where he played around 70 minutes and he was taken off. Um, Maka also played really well. And Maka I couldn't watch because the time he was playing, the second game was really bad. For me, it was super early in the morning, like 4, 4 in the morning. I couldn't be awake to watch that game. Uh, uh, so, and he scored a goal. And... You know, Maka this season and has just been that player, you know. No one expected to be and, you know, everybody was doubting him. But, you know, what's what a season it has become. Um, on the other hand, you know, uh, Nunes, uh, Salah, uh, you know, Alisson, um, Trent, Katias, Gravenbach, you know, they were resting and recovering you know whoever was injured was recovering well and whoever you know was not picked i don't think mosal was picked i didn't see him play against croatia and uh, i didn't see him play the other game he wasn't in the squad the other game but i don't know he posted on his story yesterday that he was recovering so that means maybe he played against croatia i checked their lineups but i didn't see him so yeah on the other side uh Van Dijk and Gakbo also really played well, where Gakbo got two assists and the other game he was rested. I, if I'm not wrong, he was brought on around 70 minute, 70 minute mark and that's good rest, you know, he played one game and rested the other, you know, that's what you want. The games, that's why you have an international team, you know, you know, team where 11 players play. 
uh on the junior side uh what's it called uh, Javier Elliott continued his impressive season and he was, you know, showing off his skills, you know, that, you know, impressive pass that was trending all over the media and he got two assists, you know. Uh, I think they played another game, but I really didn't, didn't check the, the input or his what he did, but I know this, that game he gave two assists and Kwanza also played the game that they won 7-1 or whatever, 5-1, something like that. You know, they he really played well. Uh, so, you know, all in all, you know, it was a good international break for them. But, you know, who watches international break, to be honest with you? Um, and it was just, you know, there. You know, no one cared about it. No one gave that much interest in it. But, you know, I'm happy that at the end of the day, we don't know how the assessment will come out today, you know, when players come back and has been assessed and those things. Um, I know Connor Bradley, they played well, you know. Uh, Kelha also was taken, you know. Um, but so far, other than Andy Robertson, I don't think any new injuries was recalled or was, you know, called or brought to the um, table. David Nunes had a fatigue, not an injury, even though I was reading some articles saying that he has an hamstring, hamstring uh, but it's a fatigue, he's not injured, he's just fatigued, he has a body fatigue and he needed rest. So yeah, so how do you, if I will be doing this roundup whenever there's no football, so if you guys like roundup, uh, Liverpool roundups, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe and turn on notification to be notified when I upload and yeah, stay tuned for the next video.